And this incident happened during my summer break when all my friends had gone for summer vacations. And I didn't go, couldn't go. That made me really sad. And throughout that summer break, I went quiet. I remember one night I was sitting in my garden outside. She knew I was sad. So she came outside and she sat right next to me and asked me, what is it? What is bothering you? And I being a 12 year old started cribbing and complaining about everything. I told her that I wish I could go for a vacation like my friends. Or maybe I'm not lucky enough as my friends. I wish I was born in a bigger, better city. And my complaints kept going on and on. She didn't say a word. And after a few minutes, she said, look, what's up there? Do you see an airplane going? I looked at the sky and I said, yes. She smiled and she said, that's Muniba's airplane going somewhere. I looked at my mother and I said, this is not funny. You don't have to try to make me laugh because I'm really sad. She smiled again and she repeated the same words again. She said, look, that's Muniba's flight going somewhere. I cannot even go in a train, let alone going somewhere in an airplane. Stop. This is not funny. She smiled again and repeated what she said. Look, that's Muniba's flight going somewhere. Instead of making me happy, I started crying more and I said, Mama, you will never understand what I'm going through. So I went in my room and I cried some more. Well, years and years went by and that 12 year old became me. I was invited by UN Women to share my story globally at UN Women headquarters in New York. So when I was leaving for US for the very first time in my life, when I was leaving for the airport, I remember I gave a big hug to my mother. And when I was leaving, she held my hand tight and she said, so Muniba's flight has finally arrived. That moment was one of the most defining moments of my life. Because in that moment, I realized that when I said that, Mama, you will never understand what I'm going through, my mother exactly knew what I was going through. How in such a subtle and beautiful way she was teaching me the power of manifestation. How in such a beautiful way she made me realize that even a girl in a small town has the power to dream big. And while I was busy complaining, my mother was manifesting my best future by repeating one sentence over and over again. So yes, today if I come across as a dreamer or as a humble achiever, it's all because of my mother.